We all came into this world whole. So how did we begin to break? How did our hearts shatter? How did our minds begin to go off in different directions and be fear-based as opposed to led by love? It's not our faults. It's not anyone's faults. It's the habit of living in a world that prioritizes problem solving over holistic living. And that's why this month's practice is all about identifying the places in our lives where we are not holistic, where we are not whole, where we are not led by love, and then beginning to shift that. In each of these month's blogs, I will walk through a process that I am developing in order to begin to check in with myself about places where old stories are leading my actions, places where I've been sweeping things under rugs for far too long and I'm tripping over the dust and dirt in every area of my life. In today's blog, I wrote about wanting to write a letter to someone. And I recognized the places where fear had prevented me from speaking out earlier, where fear was making me believe that writing this letter was inappropriate, where fear was making me believe that I needed someone's approval to actually speak my truth, and where fear was making me believe that to speak my truth could be hurtful. The solution to that wasn't to address those fears, but rather to get quiet and listen to what love was saying, and to trust that if I can let love speak through me, then it will be in love and as love and through love that my words are heard. So every single day we are faced with these moments where old stories have prevented us from being our truest self. Please read today's blog to see how this process can help you work through your old stories, and how you can learn to lean into love to lead you and let love guide not only your actions, but others' reactions to your actions. This is how love heals. And this together, this practice of wholeness, this heart-centered way of living, is how we all take love viral together.